Okay, so in the last session, we were discussing about the uh, publication lists and suppression lists in these lists, right? So we talked about the data extensions and then how we can create the data extension, different type of data extensions and these things. And then we moved on to the publication list that uh, why do we need a publication list? And uh, how do we make sure that if the subscriber is opted out for a particular category, that the subscriber should not receive the email again, right? And we had created two publication lists, um, Amazon Electronics and Amazon Fashion. So we had sent the email communication to these three subscribers uh, using this particular publication list, right? Um, now, you all must have received the email, right? So in the email, you must have seen that uh, update profile link. So what you need to do that you need to copy that link and then paste it over here in the chat window. And then uh, I'll show you that what are the things uh, are there in that particular link. You won't see Amazon electronics over there. So let me show you what was the email. Uh, by the name Amazon it would be by publication list to demo so this would be the subject line of the email uh, that you might have received. So in the promotion tab, can you see uh, any update profile, right? Yeah. So you need to copy that link and paste it over here. Okay. So whenever we send the email and we have to include, um, <clears throat> this update profile link so that the uh, customer or the user can click on it like on this particular link and can update the profile or uh, change the preferences change the subscriptions and all so how a user can do that let's take a look at it so when we click on that url um, it opens up this particular page and it has got two different pages inside it one is the profile center in which we can update the profile uh, for example, the email address, first name, last name, uh, country, date of birth. So all these are the profile attributes, right? So that's what we saw over here. Um, so if you go to the profile management, so all the profile attributes will be visible over here. That whatever we will create over here, like 20 profile attributes, uh, all these way, all these attributes will be populated over here, and we can uh, update the information what are we going to update so we click on the update button and it will be updated uh next you know all these things are the preferences so it is coming from the preference center page or we can say preference management so whatever the preferences we will create it will be populated over here in the my preferences so let's say i want to receive the whatsapp combination so i can click on this i can click on update what will happen um for my profile the preferences uh, like for whatsapp communication will be yes and uh, later on what we can do we can create a group um, on uh, all subscribers list that uh, i want to filter all the reports on all the subscribers who wants to receive whatsapp communication and then i can send them the whatsapp communication or maybe you know like if they want to receive the advertising email so we capture their preferences using the uh preference attributes and they will be populated over here um next thing if you want to if any of the subscriber wants to unsubscribe from all the communication then what the subscriber can do can click on this particular checkbox and click on update so this will basically change the status of the subscriber to unsubscribe 
so we'll talk about the subscriber status in detail in a while uh, but for now let's take a look at it that uh, <coughs> subscriber has got multiple statuses right so if it is active it means marketing cloud will send the email to this particular email address without any problem but if it is unsubscribe then marketing cloud will uh, exclude the subscriber from the email communication at the time of the send so when we click on this the status of the subscriber will become unsubscribe uh, next we have a subscription center page uh, that we are going to talk about in detail uh, which is related to this pub, uh, publication list so when we create a publication list we have that checkbox of making it public or not right so when we make it public which means that it will be available on this particular subscription center page now if you want to make it public then it won't be available uh we had created these two publication list amazon um, electronics and amazon fashion right so these two things these two publication lists are available over here now if i'll go to this and if i'll uncheck the checkbox and click on save then what will happen that it will be uh, let me refresh this page so that publication list is not available on my page right now right so it will be hidden or it will be like it will not be visible over here on the page now checkbox says that okay you you are a part of this particular publication list now we have multiple publication list right uh entertainment finance footwear amazon fashion and all these things right but your subscription center page so subscription center page is exclusive or is you know exclusive to that particular subscriber only so each and every subscriber will have its own uh subscription center page so we have this query string right so this query string this long query string contains the information about the subscriber that okay uh like all this information is getting passed using this query string. So if I'll open the preference center page using my subscriber, then it will show my information, right? My email address and everything. Now, whatever the changes that I'll make over here, it will be updated in this particular subscriber, uh, this infast. Uh, so let's go to subscription center page now marketing cloud now how marketing cloud handles that okay uh that if i want to receive communication to a particular category and uh, how i can opt out so i have all these publication list we can see these are the different different categories and i can choose that okay uh, uh what i can say that uh, okay i'm also interested in footwear okay that what will happen and i'll click on update button but before that let's check out the footwear so it has got two subscribers already then what will happen my subscriber will also be added into footwear category so right now these are the two different so let's click on update button so it might take some time uh, but it will be added over here now at the time of the send how marketing cloud you know uses these publication lists to make sure that the opt out opted out subscribers uh, don't receive the email messages so first of all what we'll do we'll create the email message we'll choose the um, data extension in which we have the target audience so let's say in the target audience we have 10 subscribers now whenever we send the email communication using data extension you know we are selecting a uh, publication list that's it so in that we say that publication list is amazon electronics in which we have three different subscribers now out of these 10 subscribers marketing cloud will go and check into whether these subscribers are present in that publication list or not so there could be two situations one is that if uh those 10 subscribers are present in this publication list or not so case number one that if they are present in the publication list now second step is that if they are present what is the status if the status is active then marketing cloud will send them the email 
sorry marketing cloud will send them the email without any problem but if they have opted out the status will change for this particular list to unsubscribe now in that in that case marketing cloud will exclude these uh, subscribers from the email send uh, uh, so that is the case number one so case number two could be that uh, if the subscriber is not present in the uh, in the publication list so at that point of time marketing cloud will automatically add these subscribers to the publication list so that's what we already saw so first of all we created this list and there were no subscribers so if marketing cloud finds that uh, there is no subscriber uh, in this particular in this uh, publication list that we are sending so marketing cloud will automatically add and if they are already added then marketing cloud will check their status if it is active send it without any problem and if it is unsubscribed then exclude them okay so okay let's refresh this and see whether the subscriber has been added or not okay so in footwear now we have three subscribers okay uh, I have to refresh the entire page. So now if I'll go over here and I'll say that, okay, I don't want to receive the email communication related to the Amazon electronics, then what will happen? My status for that particular publication list, that is Amazon electronics, will be flipped into uh, unsubscribe. So next time when the marketing cloud will uh, you know, send the email to this particular email address to this particular subscriber using the same publication list then it will check what is the status if it is active then send it you know uh, normally otherwise exclude this if it is unsubscribed Sometimes it, you know, does these kind of problems, but it is added. Maybe it will be available on the UI in some time, but it is added. So next over, let's say I want to unsubscribe to Amazon Electronics. And then what I want to do, I want to click on save button. So whenever I want to, you know, target the customers related to the Amazon Electronics, uh since we have opted out for this particular category the marketing cloud will see that okay the subscriber has opted out so we will not send the communication to this particular subscriber but this will be a part of our, our target data extension our target list the, at the time of the send since the status of that subscriber in the publication list is unsubscribed that particular subscriber will be excluded so it might take some time but uh, the status will change from active to unsubscribe. Uh, anybody has any doubt? Okay, great. So, so this was all about the publication list that how we can use the publication list to manage different uh, categories and make sure that you know customers are receiving the emails uh, that are they like uh, that they have opted in. Okay, next we have uh, suppression list and then we have the exclusion list. So what are suppression list as a name says that we are going to suppress the contacts. We are going to exclude the subscribers, but how do we do that? So we have two different ways. Uh, so we can click on create button and then we can say Amazon. Okay. 
do not contact. Okay, so we have created this suppression list. So it is very easy. We just have to give a name and then let's make it public as well. And then we'll click on the save button. So either like that, we click on this. Either what we can do, uh, we can import the data. So in publication list, we cannot import the data. Here we have the option to import the data. So that is the first thing. Uh, in case of publication list, we don't have this option uh, to import the data. Uh, let me show you. Here. So we can only export the data and the only way to add the subscribers here is to uh, whenever we send the email, the marketing card will automatically add the subscriber. So in suppression list, either we can um, add the subscribers or the subscriber can also add them into the uh, suppression list. Now, what is the advantage or how do we use a suppression list? So at the time of the send, you must have seen that uh, we want to exclude the subscribers, we can use the suppression list. <clears throat> so let's say we want to maintain a do not contact list or we want to maintain a list for the blocked customers. So this could be our spam customers, this could be our, you know, our competitors and we don't want to send them uh, email communication ever so what we can do we can man we can create one list and we can you know put all the subscriber to one list and at the time of the uh, email send we can choose that uh, suppression list so let's say So I think earlier we saw the guided send, right? So this is also a way of sending the email and that is called the send flow. Okay, so here we choose um, the subject line and the send classification, these things. After that, we will have to choose the data extension and here we have the uh, section for the suppression list. So. So right now we have created with a suppression list and that's the Amazon do not contact this right? So if we'll put them over here, that what will happen? Then uh, at the time of the email send, it will check that in the target data extension, if that subscriber is present in this particular list or not. If that subscriber is present, then it means it will be excluded from the email send. And if a subscriber, the target data extension is not present in the suppression list, then uh, that subscriber will not be excluded. Now, uh, using the import, you know, we just have to click the, on the import button and follow all the steps like uh, field mapping and all these things. Uh, otherwise, so let me refresh this page. Uh, so we have this Amazon do not contact list, right? So we can make it available on the page. And then uh, if somebody doesn't want to receive, you know, uh, any communication, right? Uh, then either we have this option to unsubscribe, or what we can do, we can even have this do not contact list, and they can click on this and click on update button. So what will happen that they will be a part of our suppression list, and uh, we can exclude them uh, from our site.
Okay, this is taking some uh, more time. So. so it will be added in some time. Okay, so suppression list is used to um, uh, exclude the subscribers, and the subscribers could be you know our spam customers or who don't who don't want to receive the communication and all. Uh, next we have the exclusion list, but exclusion list is a you know virtual concept. You won't be able to see anything physically over here, so it doesn't have a you know separate list or separate physical existence, which we can call it a, a exclusion list. So exclusion list is just a name given to any data extension uh, list or a group that we use for the exclusion. So what happens that uh, <clears throat> here we don't have it. Either. So Uh, let me show you in the A-B tester. So exclusion list is also used to exclude the subscriber. So now what is the difference between the suppression list and, and the exclusion list? Because in the functionality, uh, like functionality wise, both are same, like both are used, both are uh, getting used to exclude the subscribers. But suppression list is, uh, you know, like it has a, different physical existence and uh, we use it generally to exclude the subscribers permanently so it's not like that, okay if we have these spam customers we are just excluding them for, from a particular email send so we maintain this list so that we can use it every time we are sending the email communication so let me click on this create a b test and show you the exclusion list So in the normal send also, I mean, we can use exclusion list, but uh, there um, it is not showing us distinctively. So let me choose any email. So I'm just choosing any random email for now. Uh, Okay, so here it is. Uh, we have suppression list and then we have the exclusion list. So when we click on choose and it shows three different things, right? A list and groups or the data extensions. So either we can choose a data extension or the list of the group uh, to exclude the subscribers. So if in the target data extension, it finds that, uh, that, that particular record that the subscriber is present in, uh, in the data extension that we have chosen as the exclusion list then that will be excluded. So what are the different use cases? So let's say uh, we have targeted extension of uh, 100 subscribers and out of 100 subscribers, you know, there are 10 subscribers to whom we have already uh, sent the communication. And uh, now we don't want to send them the email again, maybe because of some other campaign or maybe manually, but we have, you know, already communicated to them and we don't want to send them again, right? So what we can do, we can create uh, another data extension in which we can put all those 10 subscribers and then that's a data extension, any data extension B, we can use it as a exclusion list so that these 10 subscribers are excluded. So this is for the you know, temporary uh, exclusion, uh, whereas the suppression list we created for the permanent exclusion, that if you want to exclude these subscribers every time we send the email, or uh, uh, this will be excluded uh, from every email sent. But exclusion list is for the very specific use cases that, okay, if something happens, 
that uh, we will use another data extension okay so when we click on the suppression list uh, you will only find the suppression list over here so there are two main differences one is that the suppression list has its own uh, physical existence but the exclusion list is just a name which is given to any list or data extension or a group uh, that we can use for the exclusion so now what are the similarities that uh, these two lists are used for the uh, exclusion and this one more difference uh, based on the use cases so suppression list is used generally for the um, permanent exclusion that we have to exclude from all the email sets whereas the exclusion list is just used for the specific use cases or for the temporary purposes that if you were to exclude from a particular email send uh, in that case okay so we talked about uh, what is all subscribers list uh, so now you must have understood that we all talk about either list or the data extension now in list we have different kind of list we have all subscribers list which is a master list and then we have a user defined list that we can create um, and then if you want to segment the list or if you want to filter the list so then we have groups um, and then if you want to maintain the set like category of company uh, category of different publications then we have publication list if you want to exclude then we have suppression list and the exclusion list right and then we have data extensions uh, in the data extension we have the filter data extension random data extension and then we have different ways that how we can create the data extensions but all these things are, we are doing to prepare a target audience or the to the exclude right so we are creating a, um, a list or a group or a data extension whatever it is to create a target audience and if you want to exclude them we are creating the uh, suppression list or the exclusion list so if you are excluding them also uh, the final result that we get that is our uh, final count or final customers or the you know final target audience so in subscribers we talk about uh the subscribers and to prepare how we can prepare the audience now once the audience is prepared once we know okay, okay these are target customers uh and we are storing them either in the data extension or the list or the group whatever it is